I will go through all this pain in your hair. Cause girl, I would die for you, baby. Cause you won't do the same. Woo! Okay. Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be gluing these tires. I realize that I don't do a lot of uh, maintenance stuff with you guys. So I'm gonna try to change that this year. So I got some tires for my uh, B5M here, and I'm gonna show you how to glue them. It's funny, when I entered this hobby, I didn't know how to glue tires and I glued them wrong. So, I know this is something probably a lot of you guys know how to do, but I was like, hey, why not show it anyway? Actually, what I did, this is what I did when I first got into the hobby when I was uh, like 12. I just put the glue just around the rim like that and thought that was done, but that's not, that's not what you do. <laughs> um, what you want to do is you want to peel back the bead and actually put it on the tire bead this tire bead right here sometimes i put it inside that channel sometimes i put it on the bead but then you just want to put it back and uh you just want to go all the way around the tire now what some people do and you'll see Especially when you, if you get some uh, some glue like this, they have uh, rubber bands. I don't have any of those rubber bands. However, I do have a container of like rubber bands that I got from the grocery store. Ah, darn! Wow, these things are dried out. This is not thick enough. I see. Just take the band and put it around the tire. Now, what this does, this just gets you a nice, a nice uh, tight fit with your rim the tire I can't go around twice with this guy so you just put it on like that if it's a nice tight uh, rubber band it'll actually squeeze it closer and it's just a nice it's just a tighter fit if you don't have a rubber band that is perfectly fine really I've, I haven't used rubber bands for the longest time and I, I've done pretty good that's pretty much it this guy I'm just gonna let dry and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one here peel the peel the rubber back and put it you can put it on the rubber or put it inside the channel and this this glue actually start to set up fairly quickly whether you, whether you have thin or thicker stuff so same thing with the back not rocket science this is probably one of the easiest things to do I know some people don't like the feeling of the glue on their hands and you can actually take some of your sisters or some of your daughters or some of your or just get some some fingernail polish remover and it'll actually dissolve the glue that is stuck to your fingers. Uh, I, I really don't mind since your skin rebuilds itself all the time. <laughs> now I did rush this a little bit. The front isn't totally dry yet. All right, uh, now that's that tire. Pretty much it's the same thing with the with the other one. You will, I usually wait about a day before I actually drive with these. All right, fairly simple, not rocket science. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll be doing a lot more maintenance things when my car breaks. If it's something interesting, I will record it for you guys, okay? So take it easy, enjoy your day, and uh, get back to work, alright? Alright, getting back to that grind, making those gains, son! Oh.